others. But if you continue to show up and if you continue to be you, you will get there. But if you hide, man, if you pull the pin because you've been burnt in the past, whether it's love, relationship, so you go, right here, I've been burnt too many times, I'm not going to come to the starting line, well, then, mate, you're never going to find it. I suppose for me, when I, when I work with the kids, when I'm trying to teach them is that you've got to bring your best effort and your best effort sometimes might not be good enough. But if you can get to the point where you can handle your best effort not being good enough, then you are on because then the next time that you could bring it and it just might be but if you go and give your best effort just once and it's not good enough and then you pull back well then you're never going to find it man because you're not giving your all mate i want to dive into five questions and answers with you for the people listening or watching this podcast they may know that 5q and 5a is a consistent theme at the end of every podcast um, it is a part of the the closing tradition of the show, but it's also released separately as a little, I guess, a little intro episode. Maybe you could call it a trailer for people who think, would I like to hear Rack in full? And let me tell you, if you're listening to this, click out right now and listen to the bloody thing in full. But I'm going to run through that five Q&A. Um, they're consistent. I'm pretty sure I can remember all of them off the top of my head right now. Um, so let's flow, brother. The first yep. question is if you could recommend only one book or podcast to someone listening, what would it be? <laughs> well, I mean, here I do this with has written two books and does a podcast, so I reckon I'm stuffed when I'd say him. <laughs> um, the Resilience Project, uh, Let Go, and also The Imperfects are good. But um, for me as well, other books, I, oh, I, I don't, um, I'm trying to think. I, 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 love, I love reading stories. Mm. You know, so I'm reading Flea at the moment. I'm loving that. Right. Da, um, Dave Grohl, reading that. Um, so for me, stories, the ones that have, but I know oh, another great book is Yohan Hari, Lost Connections. Yes. And yeah. Stolen Focus. They're probably two that, um, that are really good. This I mean, yeah, I love, I love reading stories. So they'd be the ones. But Hugh's written The Resilience Project and Let Go. Um, and The Imperfects is, is, um, is a podcast that's good as well. But in terms of podcasts, I'm not, I don't really, because I, because I, my gig is talking mm. and presenting. I, I tend to get in the car and just have nothing on and just be yeah. at this with my um, thoughts and then um, and then ring my mates and yeah. have a laugh. So, but yeah, yeah and yeah, and your podcast as well, mate. I'll start with mate, the other. No. To talk about what else? <laughs> I, I will say I actually agree with you. I'm I'm definitely a stories guy. Um, have you read Green Lights, Matthew McConaughey? No, have not. Mate, you would get love that. I'll get on Especially it. your life experience, Borneo Headhunting Tribes. You'd love a bunch of the stories in that book. Cool. If you do anything, pick it up. And if you want to be absolutely serenaded, get the audio book. Mate, that bloke's voice is just out of this world. <laughs> um, my second question for you, is there an attribute that you're working at developing that you think has significantly improved the quality of your life? Yeah, I mean, mate, I, I am, I've got so many bloody flaws, so I, I've got to work on heaps. But I, one would be breathe before you talk. So, so like at home, something will happen or piss me off. And it's like, and in the moment, I've got to go there, man. And, and it's hard because for me, like, I can, I, feedback for me is like, if it's about a behaviour, it's okay. If it's personal, mate, it's wrong. So for me, um, it would be breathe before you talk because I can, I like, Jen gives me feedback and I'm like, yeah, no dramas, man. Hit me. Yeah, cool. Done. Whereas for her, I give her feedback and it's like, she's, and fair enough, she has to process it and she can't just go, right, done. So I need to breathe and then let go of the small things. Let go of the small I things. That. When the knife is in the fork drawer, just don't say a word, man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Mate, I love that. Breathe and let go. Yeah. Um, the third question I have for you, which you've probably touched on at some point in the podcast here, but maybe there's something else that you want to draw to. What is the greatest challenge you've faced that's required the most growth to overcome? Um, oh mate, there's, it's, it's life. It's, um, it's the unknown. It's the uncertainty. It's what I don't know what's going to happen in the future. It's the trials and tribulations. I reckon that my kids are going to go through and, and I will not be in control. And that's going to be really tough. That will be the one in the future without doubt. So for me, it's anything where it's had a major impact on me, but I've been out of control. 
and then the uncertainty between not knowing and and waiting to know i think they're the moments where where for me that rock you and then for, and then it'll be it happens to my mates my family my mum my dad my brother his wife his kids my 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 jen's family you know mum and dad her brothers and sisters and i uh, you know and then their loved ones their, their partners and then and their kids and and our kids it's going to be when i can't when i'm not in control that's that's tough like yeah I, I, you know anytime one of my mates is going i've had some mates going through some heavy heavy stuff you know heavy stuff in the last year or two and i'm like it, it breaks you because you can't do anything to help them you think um but if you keep turning up and being there for them um i suppose that's one way of getting through it with them as well for sure and i think that even just lends on even more so what the whole message of today is about you know developing that attribute of resilience and being being grateful having empathy having that mindfulness that when these things do come to pass that you know you know you've got what it takes to get through the other side so, yeah, mate, beautifully yeah. said. I think many people are feeling that that challenge and that struggle in their own lives. The fourth question I have for you is: Is there a morning or evening ritual slash routine that sets your day up for success? Bloody oath, man! So my three kids and I, every morning we get up and we just go off tap. So we have <laughs> we have the tunes humming. And what are um, we talking? Give us some context. Oh, tunes. Mate, well, mate, I've got a seven, mate. It's a nightmare. It's it's bloody it's Encanto. You probably don't even know what that is. You no. don't know me, Bruno. No, 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 no. And then my five year olds found Barbie Girl. You are kidding me. You know, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. And yep. then put then Classic. The playlist took them to you won't remember this one, Macarena. Yeah, that so that stuff kills me, mate. Not it's just but it puts a smile on my kids' faces and then Gordy, he's more into Queen, thank God. Um, so the kids are loving Don't Stop Me Now and stuff like that. So every morning I, I know that music gives us positive emotions. So like for us in Melbourne during lockdown, we had, you know, a fair few days like you guys do, do in other parts of Australia. But I just knew, knew that I had to listen to music, I had to exercise and I had to laugh. So for me, every single day, there's music, there's exercise and there's laughter. And if I do that, I'm on. Mate, bloody hell, that's so well said. I love that. And it's funny, I was actually talking to one of my best mates. Listeners of the show will know Fernie quite well. And Fernie and I had a conversation about how one soundtrack every morning can just set the day on fire. Yeah, bloody love awesome. it. Yeah, love it. 100%. Great answer. My last question, which is my favorite question of the five, is if you could share one message with the world and encourage everyone to act on it, to embrace it, to make it a part of their fabric and of who they are, what would that message be? I think it's what I've said throughout the whole um, chat is just be you. Um, but but with, a, with the proviso that you let others be there. Stand up for what you believe in. Look, so, so here's like, mate, I'll, I'll say it out loud. And, you know, if people disagree, I'm cool with that. But if I'm in the room with Donald Trump, it's on. All right? Like, oh, sorry. But that yeah. bloke, he does not care about anyone else other than himself, and he tries to promote hate mm. for his own benefit. So what? So what I mean by that is, be you. But come on, man, you got to let other people be them as well. Mate, like, beautiful. Just let the let everyone be them. So it would be it would be just be come from your own skin. And, that, and the beauty of that is the following: is that when the journey to get into where you can be come from your own skin is tough, it's arduous, it's long, but when you get there, it's bliss, man. Cause then all you got to do is just wake up and be you. Mate, then you're cooking with gas. hundred percent, man. I love or it. Or induction in the future. We'll yes, see how we go. Very true. Very true. <laughs> Mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm, um, I'm so grateful that you've taken the time. And as you said, um, that IOU philosophy, well, I feel very thankful for that philosophy of yours because I've been on the receiving end of that today. Um, I'm extremely grateful. I can't wait to share this with the many people who listen to and watch this show. Mate, you are a storyteller through and through. You're a man who should be listened to, um, whose advice should be acted on. And, mate, I feel very excited for your children, your wife, because they get this wisdom every day. 
Um, whilst at times they might bang their heads against the wall, mate. <laughs> and I think, mate, you, you and I, there's there's parts of your characteristic and character that make us feel like two peas in a pod, mate, because I know my family would wish I shut up every once in a while. But, <laughs> mate, I, I feel very blessed to have had you on the show. Thank you so much, mate. And um, everywhere that people can find you through the Resilience Project, your LinkedIn, I'm going to put those um, links in the show notes here oh, today. Oh, mate, don't, don't, mate, I'm not, yeah, you can if you want to, it doesn't face me. Like, I'm not after anything. So, mate, do what you want to do, but I'm not after anything, man. Mate, I appreciate the needs, it. The world needs to hear more Martin Heppel. So, they'll be there. Well, not everyone will agree with you. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> no, mate, mate, I, I can't thank you enough for your time, mate. And keep doing what you're doing, keep enjoying the chats. And in terms of your own journey, mate, keep charging man because um what you're doing is absolutely fantastic mate and you're what you're doing is you're giving hope to so many other people and um and you're allowing them to believe man so just keep letting people believe dude keep at it mate next time i'm in melbourne melbourne magic on me leisure mate appreciate your time man. <laughs>